What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with more content. And today we're here to talk about the perfect wearable computing display kit. Now, I think that this portion of this segment is overlooked here because we have these rivals, these huge rivals. We've got Apple Vision Pro and of course with them, we have the reignited MetaQuest. But I think we're overlooking the simplest form, which is what I have here. And if you've been following the channel, I've been focused on creating a kit that I feel works perfectly for myself and might for you as well. So let's talk about what's going on here. First, we're going to need our device that runs it all, that powers it all. So we're going to need a Samsung device, which is what I have here. This is the S23 Ultra and it needs to be able to run DeX. So any Samsung device that runs DeX will work great here. And again, this will serve as the processor and the battery for pretty much everything going on here except the wireless Bluetooth keyboard. We'll get to that in a moment. Next, we're going to need our wearable display. If you've been following the channel, I have the Lenovo glasses here, but you can find anything, say by Rokid or uh, another competitor that competes in this segment. And then finally, you're going to want a Bluetooth keyboard. And here I have the Fossmon Mini Bluetooth keyboard. It also has a trackpad. That's huge. You want to make sure you have a trackpad to run this all. It's going to improve your accessibility. But all these three items combined here, it's going to be very simple. It's going to work effectively. It's going to create a truly portable productivity solution, something you're not going to get from an Apple Vision Pro or a MetaQuest headset. So all things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to start things off by actually plugging in my glasses into my S23 Ultra. And this is part of the process here. So I want to make sure I show this in live time so you can see what's going on. And then I'm going to put the glasses on. Now, depending on how you have DeX set up on your Samsung Galaxy device, when you plug in an external display, which would either be these glasses or a projector or TV or even a PC, yes, you can run DeX on a PC. You can have this so that DeX automatically starts when that device is connected or you pull down your drop down menu and then you enable DeX and then it will open on the external display. Now, quick note, when it comes to the glasses, what I like about them is that they are open in the back. Now, this is going to be huge for comfort, especially if you plan to view content laying down on your back. Your head is going to be laying down on something. You're not going to feel discomfort back here from, say, a strap that you would experience on a headset. So this is a huge plus here. I'm going to pull these down and I'm going to get Dex up and running on my smartphone here. And then I will enable the screen recorder. So I'm looking to enable the screen recorder right now. And I could tell you we're not using the Bluetooth keyboard right now. I'm using my S23 Ultra as a trackpad. I'm selecting the screen recording app. And then I am enabling it again with the trackpad on the S23 Ultra. We are going to start our screen recording now. And there we go. That should pop up in the video here. And I'm actually going to turn on my Fossman mini Bluetooth keyboard with the trackpad so that we can connect here. And what I really like is this is, again, a truly portable productivity computing solution that's also very comfortable. Now, if you're watching the video, you can see that I have this desktop looking interface. If you use say a Chromebook or a Windows PC, this is going to look very familiar. Now, what I do want to mention is the screen follows wherever I turn. So it's not going to be pinned anywhere. This is a much more simple interface compared to a VR or AR headset. So my goal is to get a few applications running here so that we can demonstrate multitasking. So we've got our apps in the bottom left corner here. I'm going to tap on the icon there and we're going to open a few things. So I'll start with Netflix. That seems like something we would use quite a bit. I'm going to double tap on it and drag it over into the corner there. Then we'll do the same thing. Look for that apps icon in the bottom left hand corner. Tap on that and we'll go with the Play Store here. So we've got that one. I'm going to try to resize this here a little bit too. 
and just because I like everything to fit nicely here. Now, I'm not saying that you would do this, but this is ideal for anyone who is considering multitasking, and I like to try to get these about the same size. We're going to go back to our apps here, and I'm going to select another one here. Uh, let's say we'll bring up the clock. Maybe I want to look at the clock here while I'm viewing these apps. Maybe I want to keep track of how long I've been using them. Let's see here. So we're going to resize that, and then I'm going to drag it here. And this takes a bit of practice here. There we go. So we've got three open. Again, we're going to return back to the apps here, and let's open Spotify. That's, a, that's another big one there. So I'm going to double tap that, and then we are going to resize here. Let's see, there we go. And I'm gonna to try to resize a little bit more here, just because I wanna get this to fit in here pretty nicely. Not perfectly, but as good as we can. So I've got that. And then let's see if we could drop one more in here. So uh, we'll go, let's just say we'll pick Bing here. Now I have noticed, and I'll place Bing right there. I have noticed that it seems to be that the maximum allowed, at least on the S23 Ultra when used in DeX, is going to be five. I'm going to test this here though. I'm going to try to pull up one more application and if this doesn't work, we will get some kind of warning that says we've reached the limit here. So let's uh, let's see if we can pull up, uh, I would say, the wearable app. So you can see we got a warning here. Can't show more than five apps. It disappears fairly quickly. But this is still very, very promising here. And what you can do here is you can double tap and drag one app to half the screen. And then we could pull up another one of our app windows that are open here. So we'll pull up Spotify. And now we've got these pretty large um, side by side. We have Spotify on the left and then we have the wearable app on the right. This is pretty cool here. But anyways, I'm going to minimize both of these. There we go. We're going to get this one out the way as well. We're going to make things a little bit more simple. And by the way, you can change the wallpaper on the DeX interface here on your desktop. This is what I did here. I've got this wallpaper. It looks really cool and everything just falls back on it. So, so far the main point is if you're looking to multitask or do anything productive, but you don't want to pay the Apple Vision Pro price, or you don't want the bulkiness that a MetaQuest headset would have, you can go this route here. Now, I will say when it comes to the Fossman Mini Bluetooth keyboard, it does the job, but the keyboard itself is harder to use so far in my testing, but the trackpad works great. So you can always switch things up. You can go with a different keyboard, such as a folding keyboard. I reviewed a ProtoArc folding keyboard. I'm gonna pull that out here. So here we have a folding keyboard by ProtoArc, and it has pretty much everything that the Fossman has, except the keyboard's going to be a lot better. And this is a foldable unit. Now what makes the keyboard better is that the keys are spaced out. You have more of an actual sensation feeling with this keyboard. I would say maybe the trackpad's not as good. I actually liked the raised edges of the Fossman here because it gives you an idea of end stops. And to an extent, you do have this on the ProtoArc unit here, but they're more they're, they're more toned down, so you don't. You, it's harder for you to really fill that end space. I would have to experiment with this more, but I think it's very possible. But if you're looking for a better computing solution, ProtoArc foldable keyboard, that would keep this whole kit still portable. The only con is if you're going to try to use it on your lap because it folds, you might do one of these things. So that's the con there. So I'm still trying to figure out the perfect solution at the moment. And it's really hard to choose between the false mint or the proto art. It really depends on what you're looking for, but I'm hoping uh, maybe I could find somewhere in between both of those devices. So moving on, the next question that has started coming up, especially with the Apple Vision Pro and MetaQuest headsets, is 
Are we going to be using our smartphones a lot less if we're going to be wearing wearable displays? Or even, will the smartphone become obsolete? Now, I will say when using the solution I'm showing here, I can confidently say the smartphone won't become obsolete because it's a part of the system, a part of the kit. Again, the smartphone provides the processing power and processes everything that goes to the glasses, but it's also the battery, which is kind of interesting. If you know anything about the Apple Vision Pro, you have this external battery and your Samsung device serves as the external battery. So if you wanted to, you could tuck this away in your pocket. Not only that, but you can actually turn off the display before you put it in your pocket. And we do have it on the trackpad right now. I'm going to power off here. Just hit the power button there. We're not actually fully powering the phone down, but just turning off the display is what I mean. And now we could actually, if I wanted to, I could tuck it into a pocket here. There we go. And then I could just use the trackpad here with the keyboard. This is really cool. And again, I can't emphasize enough, but it's like we get a full desktop mode here. But then the next thing I have to ask is if we're going to be using these wearable displays more, will we not really use our smartphones even though they will be a part of this kit? And I've got to be honest here. This is something that I've been thinking about. I don't think we're going to use smartphones less. I think this kit is great if you're sitting down, if you're by yourself, you don't have anyone around you and you just want to zone into certain things. Maybe you want to get comfortable, lay down on your back. There is a time and place for a wearable display kit. But if you're out in public, you're probably going to go back to using your smartphone as a standalone device you've always used it as until at least these wearable displays become a little bit better. Maybe they have more AR capabilities. Maybe the AR capabilities are more fine-tuned on the glasses that support them, things like that. So at the time as of the making of this video, I can confidently say that our smartphones probably aren't going anywhere for at least some amount of years. And I also don't think we're going to be fully in wearable displays 24 seven because it's just not practical at the time. But overall, this is a much more promising productivity solution in my opinion compared to the expense and the complexity of say an Apple Vision Pro or even a MetaQuest headset. This is fun to use. It's great to use when alone. I can actually multitask. I could see five different things at once if I wanted to go that route, not that I would do so. But I wanted to showcase this because I'm always experimenting. I'm always working with it. So that is it for today's content. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out.